Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use SSH keygen as a EC2 instance key pair instead of creating a key pair on EC2 and trying to use it in our Terraform configuration files. In previous episodes, we had this code here that we used to create an EC2 instance. For our key pair, as you can see here, we used var dot key and the key is specified in the variables file here as Ubuntu 24 key, which is the Ubuntu 24 key dot perm that you see on the left hand side. This is a key that we created on our EC2 instance. This is the key right here. So I pick this key and I use it as a means of connecting to the EC2 instance. Going forward, we don't want to pick a key pair from AWS EC2 instance and using it in our Terraform code. We want everything to be automated. And so what I'm going to do in this video is instead of using this key pair, I will delete this key since I don't need it anymore. By the way, everything else remains the same. Output, providers, we're still storing our backend in S3 bucket, my icon test bucket, the same region. The only difference is now we are taking out the key variable. We have still the user, region, AMI, and the type. And then in the main file, we are creating an EC2 instance using the AMI and type. But for the key, we are going to make some changes here. So I'll clean this for now. And then what I'm going to do is on the terminal, I will use SSH hyphen key gen. This will generate an SSH key. Now you need to provide a file name, so I will call it icons keys, passphrase, nothing to nothing. See that as soon as I did that, you can see two keys right here. We have the icon keys and icon keys dot pub. This is the public key and this is the private key. Now if you try to look at it, it's a bit long. So now instead of copying all that content and putting it here for our key, what I will do instead is to create a new resource. Now this resource will be an Amazon Keeper or AWS Keeper. So let's go to Terraform. So we need AWS Keeper Terraform resource. So this is an example. I will copy this and I'll paste it right here. So the resource name, I'll call it Iquant Keys or Key, whatever. For the key name, remember we gave it Iquant Keys. So let's use that name, Iquant Keys. Now for the public key, instead of this lengthy string, I will clean it and then I will use a provisioner. One of the provisioners that we have in Terraform is called file. You use it to input files as a function into a Terraform resource. Now this is the public key. And so the file I'm going to use is iquantkeys.pub. So iquantkeys. Pop. I've created my key pair. So if I want to define it here, it's going to be the resource. It's AWS key pair dot the resource name or resource identifier, I want the key and then the key name. So by Terraform reading this, it's going to pick up this icon keys. So let's save this. Let's clear our terminal. Then I'll initialize Terraform with Terraform in it. Terraform is initialized, Terraform format, then validate, it's good. Then we do Terraform plan. So we are creating two resources, EC2 instance and a keeper, All right? By the way, let's go back to the AWS console. If you look at the keepers, you see that the icon keys is not here. And then the EC2 instance the one that we are creating is also not here. So when you apply Terraform, it should start creating. Yes. So two resources added. Let's go back to AWS. Refresh. You see our instance is running. If you go to keepers, see our keeper is found right there. So that is how you use SSH keys to serve as your EC2 instance keeper and also helps you to log in into your instance and all that. Thanks for joining me in this video. Comment, like, and share my channel. Also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.